Hello friends and welcome to our Life Point Kids online family experience. I'm Miss Rachel and I'm so glad you're here today. As you can see, I have been busy getting ready for Christmas with some Christmas baking. It's only a couple weeks away, so there's lots to do. Today, I have made some Christmas cookies and now I'm going to start on my gingerbread house. Have you ever made a ginger house before? They're lots of fun and very yummy. They're not made up of wood and nails and carpet and paint like our homes are. These houses are made up of cookies and candies and icing, delicious. Can you imagine what fun it would be to live in a house made of cookies, candies and icing? It smells so sweet and looks so tasty. It'd be hard not to eat the house, but I can eat this one later on with my family. You know friends, People around the world live in all different sorts of places and homes, but today we are going to hear about someone who had to live in a very different sort of place for a few days right after he was born. He wasn't born in a hospital, and he didn't sleep in a crib or a cradle for the first few days. And it wasn't a gingerbread house either, but a stable where farm animals live. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. Well, let's go visit our friends at the clubhouse to learn more.
friends, I'm Hayden. I found this great box of alphabet magnets while decorated for Christmas. So I'm putting them all in order. Can you sing the alphabet song with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. I've got to put up the rest of the letters. What comes after I? H, I, J. That's it. Now we have to find the letter J. Is this the letter J? <laughs> no, this isn't a J. Is this the letter J? No, this isn't a J. Is this the letter J? Yes, it is. This is the letter J. It starts up here and it swoops down. J is for jumping jacks. J is for jelly. Yum. The letter J is so great, I'm putting it right here after the letter I. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Working on the alphabet, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. We got all the way to the letter J. Learning your letters is great. It's true. And I have an amazing J word for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hey there. Merry Christmas. I'm Justin the Mailman. Look at all of these Christmas cards. This one says, Merry Christmas. Christmas starts with the letter C. And this one says, joy. That starts with the letter J. That reminds me of our story today. It's about a very special baby whose name starts with the letter J. I can't wait to tell you about it. I'll just put the story mail in the mailbox and... Today's part of the true story of Christmas begins with Mary and Joseph. They lived in the town of Nazareth, but they needed to go all the way to the city of Bethlehem to be counted. Do you see Bethlehem all the way back there? That's where Joseph was from, and that's where they needed to go. But Mary was going to have a baby. That means she couldn't walk all that way. She needed a ride. What do you think Mary rode to Bethlehem? Do you think she took the bus? No. Did she ride on the train? No, she didn't ride the train. She didn't ride a bus or a train. She probably rode on an animal, like a donkey. What does a donkey say? Hee-haw, hee-haw. Okay, on to Bethlehem. Once Mary and Joseph got to Bethlehem, they needed to find a place to stay. So they looked around the town for somewhere to rest. They knocked on door A. But there wasn't any room there. They knocked on door B. But there wasn't any room there either. Oh no, where are Mary and Joseph going to stay? They knocked on door C. Oh, wow! The innkeeper didn't have any room inside, but he told Joseph and Mary that they could stay in his stable. Now, a stable is a place where people keep their animals, and it was in that stable, with all of the animals, that something amazing happened. A very special baby was born, and Mary named him Jesus. J is for Jesus. Everyone say, J is for Jesus. J is for Jesus. God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. 
Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. God gave us Jesus for me and for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus was born in a stable. God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I know what else Jay is for. Jay is for Jesus. Bye, see you next time. was a very nice place, a very comfortable place, a very quiet place? No, probably not. It was full of animals and animal smells and animal sounds. And while Mary and Joseph were in the stable that night, baby Jesus was born. Friends, Jesus was born for you and for me and for all the people in the world. God sent his son Jesus into the world because he loves us. God has always loved you and he will always keep on loving you. And because God loves you, he gave you the best present ever, Jesus. You can remember that God loves you and that God gave us Jesus. Today, friends, I want you to get out your blocks and build a stable. Make sure there is room for some animals and baby Jesus. Maybe you can even find some of your toy animals and people and turn it into an activity set. Remember, you'll need someone to be Mary and a Joseph and a baby Jesus and maybe even some angels and shepherds too. Put your stable up on display to help you remember the real reason why we celebrate Christmas. Parents, now's the time to either scan the QR code on the screen or head over to the Laypoint app to build our online connection card. Signing our guest book lets us know who is watching and helps us stay connected to you. It also allows you to sign up for our latest Laypoint initiatives and opportunities. So friends, while your parents are busy doing that, why don't you crawl around the house like the donkey Mary Road to Bethlehem? I'll see you again next week. Same time, same place. Remember, God gave us Jesus. <laughs>